Hello again everyone, we are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome back to our Lovecraft Star Wars RimWorld crossover campaign. Uh, when we last left off, I mean, things have been going pretty good. It, it's been a little while since the last episode due to, and just, uh, just working on some stuff uh, with, like, the scheduling and whatnot. And also, you'll notice there's been a couple of changes. Uh, one, instead of a raid from the Galactic Empire, it is now a siege. And uh, this alpaca has a name now, apparently, due to a random event. Uh, basically, what happened is, when I left off the last episode, I did not save properly. So, uh, yeah, we had to, had to get back up to this point, since the last save had been on this day, but earlier in the day. So, a couple of, a couple of things have changed ever so slightly. So, yeah, we've got a siege now, instead of uh, an actual... An actual fight a majig here, so let's tell everyone to stay in the safe zone. We are we're obviously gonna wanna do stuff like this, and it, it just occurred to me, I'm wearing my shirt inside out. Yeah. Interesting. Wasn't wasn't sure if I wanted to share that information about my own stupidity, but then I thought to myself, eh, might as well. What a way to start off an episode. Alright, so what do we want to do? Where is Jax does have a sniper rifle. So, Jax is uniquely qualified to perhaps, uh, shooterize these people. Then again, we could just send Margoa out. I mean, Margoa is our Jedi Master Extraordinaire. So, you know what? We'll send Margoa out. She can, uh, she can take care of these people. Oh, and there is a, a raid right on top of... Please tell me these people are going to fight each other. Make my life a little bit easier. All right. Um, 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 yeah. Defensive positions, everyone. Oh yeah, Credmo doesn't have a gun. Right. Uh, Krieg is, where's Krieg? Kriegity, Kriegity, Kriegity. Yeah, you are on the verge of a major break, so you can uh, proceed to consume that simple meal. Everyone else, also you're like extremely tired, Margoa. I mean, you're gonna be, gonna be soloing these people for a little bit, so, you know, take care of that. Pretty sure the tribals and the Empire are hostile to each other, so... This is the first time I've ever had a, a situation like this where we get a raid and, uh... Also, a siege at the same time. Colonist needs rescue. What the heck happened to Adea? Oh, she's drunk and has muscle parasites. I see. Um... I'll get Krieg to do that. You can rescue her. So I've heard some different thoughts. Also, we have a solar flare going on right now, by the way. But some different thoughts on muscle parasites. I, I'm told, and from what I've read myself, apparently, you you do want to use medicine because it speeds up the process, but it's not strictly necessary. But I've also heard, alternatively, that medicine does not make a difference. So... I guess we'll kind of experiment with that. I'm gonna use medicine just to see if it helps in any, any tiny way. So these guys are not fighting each other. So let's, uh, let's take a quick look at that actually with faction relations. Uh, let's see here. Galactic Empire. Where is the Galactic Empire? Uh, the Thieves of Cruelty. You got uh, these Fisher folk here. Ah, the Galactic Empire. They. Oh, apparently they don't care about, uh, about these people. That's very unfortunate. I mean, I'm sure Margoa can solo these people by herself, but, uh, you know, there is a certain level of, of, of fear and or terror involved in this. I mean, this is going to be very interesting. I mean, we've got, on the one hand, we've got Margoa being a, a boss over here. On the other hand, also, thank goodness it's raining. Okay, yeah, Marco, please kill these people, these jerkbags. Who, uh, have so far done no damage to us. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure Margoa can solo all of these, uh, suckers. With her amazing force powers. But, uh, at the same time, I mean... When you look at this... Oh, actually... Okay, so she has taken some damage here. But she is mostly, mostly, like, destroying them in a very efficient fashion, and that makes me a happy man. 
Got Anteater over here who's kind of wandering. Oh, right. We never got around to finishing building this, did we? Uh, sorry about that. Clicked out for a second. All right. So we need granite block here, here, and here. That'll slow that down. We can get rid of the plans that we've had. Right there. Uh, we eventually want to put in... Yeah, we want to fill this in here. So this can just kind of sit there. And uh, so far, it actually does seem like people are prioritizing this directly now. I am scared for Margoa here. This is... Uh, I mean, she's basically soloing this entire uh, this entire group here, showing just how badass the Jedi are. But, uh, you know. Yeah, so... Yeah, like, Margoa is basically a god. And... These guys can all go screw themselves. Though, maybe, maybe I should, uh... Pull some guys down a little bit. Uh, just... Just to help, a little bit. You know, might as well. Just, uh, you know, just see what we what we can get here. Try to keep everyone nice and close together. Oh good, now there's a mad boar. Wonderful, that's exactly what we needed. So, we've got a tribal raid. Margot has only got a couple of, couple of cuts here. Let's uh, get her to heal herself, if she can. And now they're all running away, because they are dirty, rotten cowards. Did you uh, heal yourself, Margot? You didn't get around to it yet. Alright. So, that was actually very stimulating. Let's see here. Blue Jay. Sliced off your leg. You're bleeding to death. A uh, heavy sleeper and a pessimist. Don't really need that. Uh, oh, there's another person. We have Agent Orange over here. Has some anxiety. Oh, we can treat that. Cool. Sliced off another leg. Uh, nervous and a green thumb. Nah, we don't really need that. Oh, never living person over here. Uh, yeah, I mean, it doesn't, doesn't hurt. Yeah, but you are psychically sensitive. We'll just kind of like... And again, we do have this giant uh, pit over here, so maybe we should rescue someone for the sole purpose of uh, maybe chucking them down the big hole later. Anyway, yeah... But, uh, so far, doesn't really seem like we need anything here. Uh, let's go and visit the, uh... I feel this is gonna be more dangerous, because these guys all have guns, but then again, Margoa is also a boss, so... I'm sure she'll be able to handle it. Wow, we're actually taking a lot of prisoners. Of course, then again, if I... If I just befriend these people... I mean, that might be actually, like, a... Oh, you're a nudist? You're a Sith! Oh, but, wait, wait, you're a, st oh, yeah, you have force powers. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I like that. We're rescuing you. You, get captured. You are going to join us, and we'll, we'll, re we'll restore you to the light side. I got way too excited there, finding out we had a Sif, like a, a primal Sif. That's pretty cool. I like that. I like that a lot. I mean, it does occur to me. It might not be, like, the worst idea in the world to perhaps try and, uh, maybe befriend the tribe. Because tribal raids are apparently, like, the worst late game when, you know, you have all kinds of crazy stuff going on here. Also, apparently I even killed the wild boar. But then again, eh, I'll, I'll leave them here. But capture, capture the Sif. I mean, totally do that. Um, yeah, and also unforbid these. We can... And if we take anyone else out... Oh, we should probably capture an extra person so we have someone to feed to the worm. We'll capture Cheda. Cheda, you can be fed to the worm. This turkey, this jive turkey here is... What is it even doing? Where, where do you think you're going? Anyway, let's watch Margoa do her amazing godlike work. Alright, uh, for speed. And, uh, yeah, get into range. Beautiful. Alright, so, yeah, we'll, uh... And yeah, they are assaulting the colony now. Oh, good. One of them has... Oh, god, you're on fire. Which one of you is the moron with the, uh, fiery item? Is it you? It seems like the sort of thing that might shoot fire. And I, I feel like, you know... Probably not the best... Or is it you? 
No, that's a scout blaster. Uh, blaster. Blaster. It's gotta be you. You're the one who's, like, shooting fire at us, right? Or is it you? Scout blaster. No, the only one who seems to have anything that I would even, like, register in my own mind as, uh, like, a fire-based attack is, uh, this. Right here. So let's melee attack them. Let's, uh, also get, get the boys here to... And we'll let these guys bleed over here. And we will kind of sneak our way over and try to get some shots in. No, just to, just to spread the fire around so that we're not all, uh, not everyone is focused on Margoa. I mean, I'm pretty sure Margoa can handle herself. But it, I mean, it, why would we not, uh, why would we not try to help Margoa? I mean, she is, she's one of us. We're dead people. That's good. This tribal, they'll learn a, a thing or two before they try to fight us again. Hopefully, maybe. That's gotta be you with the fire-based attack, right? Or is it? Blaster, blaster, master blaster. I, I don't, I don't know offhand. Of course, launcher pistol, that sounds, that sounds like the sort of thing that might, uh, might possibly cause some trouble here. Oh yeah, it's this guy. It's this guy. It's totally this guy. Uh, might as well heal yourself, Margoa, there. Uh, did you actually get the heal in? You did not get the heal in. Too many shots are being fired here. Alright. But still, still, I mean, you guys uh, actually getting over here? That'd be nice. Oh no! Margoa! You've been downed. But you're just... It's mostly just like a couple of, you know, it's, you're just kind of stunned a bit. I mean, once the once the pain has a chance to work itself out, I'm sure you'll be, I'm sure you'll be right as rain. Oh dear. Oh, please tell me the panther is not coming after us. Oh sweet. Thank God for panthers, huh? Hey Margoa, please recover yourself. Oh, jumper, jumper, get get back. Yeah, aim at him. All right, good. I mean, work is getting done here. That's, that's, this, this weapon scares me. Oh God, and Omega is down. Just blaster burns though, so. He's probably okay. Probably, uh, Joss, you're focusing on Guy over here, right? With his launcher pistol. Okay, good, and he's also survived. Let's see here, are you, uh, are you good for anything? You're actually a terrible shooter. You are a brawler and a gourmet. Interesting. But a never doctor. Never doctor could always help. I mean, you could be a doctor and a hauler when we're not doing stuff with you. So that's a, uh, that's a thing. Okay, we're taking we're taking people. Oh, you sneaky little clever thing person. All right, pull back, pull back, jumper. All right. Now the lovely thing, of course, about uh, these blaster burns is that we should should be okay like we should basically like eventually just get up once the uh once the pain goes away a jumper i'd actually like you to focus on ebis here oh not a never pant please tell me it's oh no oh no this is the last thing i needed you actually like melee it oh god okay good someone took out the pan for um jumper you're gonna be okay man right yeah, you're in no immediate danger. I mean... I'm, I'm reasonably confident that everything is going to work out okay. I'm also gonna tell all these things to be hunted so that we will eventually hunt them. Alright, our, our position is getting a little, uh... Oh god, everyone's... Everyone's falling here. This is, uh... This is less than ideal. Okay. Okay. All right, we got a lot of people who need rescue right now. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. No, not the boar. This is not something we needed right now. Margoa, could could you, like, recover yourself, please? All right, this is this is less than ideal. Very, very le Okay, good. We ma did manage to kill the boar. Uh, Sasuke, it's all up to you, man. And those muscle parasites are going to make you a little bit more... Oh, my God. These guys are... Far more accurate than I, than I thought they might be. 
All right, this is less than ideal. All right, we'll 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 send it off. We'll send it off. Okay, uh, Chartles is coming in. Okay, let's uh let's kill Redfields here if we can. Oh no! Now by steal what you can. Oh, they're gonna actually like steal just weapons that they already, like their own stuff basically. Okay, I can. I can uh, I can deal with that. Go capture guy. Like yeah, you're just. Yeah, like, oh, are you serious? You serious, bro? Come on. Make my day. Make my millennium. Solar Flare is ending. What is it? What's your shooting skill, anyway? Oh, you've got a Luciferium need. Cool, cool. Wow, this guy's actually, he's much better at, uh... Okay, Sasuke, you've got, like, a better, oh, this guy's leaving, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah, we totally... I'll get... I'll fire one more shot off. There we go. We took him out. Okay. All right. And, uh, yeah, go capture Guy now. Uh, you're not going to eat any of our colonists, right? Hopefully not. Let's, uh... Unrestrict everything, especially the corpses. And the guns. All right. I I'm pretty sure our own colonists will get up in time. Though, I suppose... I should not, I shouldn't, um, like, just assume that. We're also gonna, we're gonna reinstall these, these things, because we might want to eventually use them ourselves later. So, overall, I'd say today was a pretty good day for the colony. We got some, uh, some nice stuff. Where did I, uh, right here. Gotcha. Good stuff, good stuff. Yeah. All right. You're dead, right? Yeah, you're dead. Okay, good. So... Overall, I'm pretty sure, like, Jumper and Joss and everyone, like, they'll eventually get up. I think. Um, um. What was this? Okay, good. Omega's no longer incapable of walking. Okay, so before you do anything, go equip your blaster rifle. And, uh, let's see here. Let us get you... Heavy blaster. We got this. We got that. Uh, might as well tell you to haul the medicine. Are you alive over there? You are dead. That's okay. Yeah, let's haul the medicine. Alright, so when Margoa gets up herself, I'm gonna get her to heal herself. And I'm, I'm reasonably sure this will take care of itself eventually. Uh, maybe. Might happen. Uh, you know what? We're also... We're gonna set up, like, some field hospital, or field beds here. Alright, couple of these. They're all gonna be medical beds. That way, when we rescue people, we can rescue them right, like, right here. Which I think makes a bit of sense, and, yeah, you know what, I'm just gonna... Just gonna rescue our people here. Because that should, uh... Ultimately work out. Yeah, you know what, I'm gonna get heal of her. Omega is obsessively com or cleaning his surroundings. Okay. Alright. Sasuke is going to have a major break in a second here. That's uh, less than ideal as well, because he's going to drop the prisoner. Alright, so Menephilio here, our uh, Sif user here, who is kind of dying, actually. That's uh, less than ideal. Um, do we have any... Yeah, tend to Menio here. And, uh, Cheddar. Yeah, you're you're gonna get up on your own eventually. You'll be fine. Alright. So, overall, things are... Are you alive? You are alive over there. I mean, I suppose I could just hold on to some of these prisoners for, uh... Oh, Joss actually got up on his own. See, I told you everyone would be okay. Alright, go, uh, haul some medicine. Oh, and Margoa got up. Whoa, 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 hang on a second. Where'd your lightsaber go? I know it wasn't stolen. Okay, someone must have hauled it away. Wait, who hauled it away? No one had time to get... Oh my god, don't tell me the lightsaber was stolen. Please, for the love of god, tell me I did not let, like, the most important piece of equipment a Jedi could have get stolen. That doesn't even make sense. It doesn't make sense, man. Argoa, how could you lose your lightsaber? Oh wait, there it is. Phew. 
Oh, for the love of all that is. Okay, and so we are back. Uh, just, uh, just getting a little frustrated there, so I figured the smart play was to cut away until we had got everything handled. That way my commentary did not degrade into just me getting angry and crazy. Alright, so basically what is happening now? We are basically just going to focus on deconstructing all of this, moving all of... Uh, um, yeah, this is... No, it is set to be deconstructed, so cancel that. Uh, are we still doing the whole reinstall thing? We are. That's good, that's good. Okay, so don't deconstruct these, but deconstruct in everything else. Uh, Omega, what are you doing? Still in your crazy straight state thing? Apparently you are. That's unfortunate. Guy is no longer incapable of walking. We have a bunch of weapons still lying around here, so we'll want to get these and then we'll want to sell them. Uh, I guess, because these are all pretty, like, they seem to be pretty garbage tier, uh, quality right now, so I want to take care of that. Everyone should eventually get that stuff hauled into place. I really hope Omega, like, stops being crazy soon. That would be very nice indeed. And, I mean, Puddles will probably help do some of the work, seeing as Puddles is a very well-trained dog. Also, as we... Right, we gotta install some paws for uh, puddles. Front right paw, install front right paw. Let's get a peg. No, not an animal peg leg. No, I um, yeah, we'll wanna. Yeah, so bionic arm. I should have, I should have known that would not be a thing. I was hoping for like a super leg, but uh, yeah. Or something again, bionic. Hang on a second. Oh wait, there we are. Make a regular bionic leg. You know, make puddles. Of course, then again, if I'm gonna make one bionic leg, maybe I should make four of them. Oh, this actually requires plasteel, whereas I think a regular prosthetic leg just requires a regular... Yeah, steel and wood. Yeah, plasteel is still a premium, so we'll have to... We'll have to go with the simple stuff. What animals use arms, though? I can't think for the life of me of what animal uses an arm. A lot of dead animals over here for some reason, and that's kind of scaring me. Oh, we never, uh, never hauled this guy in. There's also a bunch of steel and stuff. There's a lot of stuff that we still need to take care of here, but uh, we'll get that. The important thing is that uh, prison has handled itself very nicely, and I... Oh good, Omega's finally come to his senses there, that's good. But then he's immediately gonna break again. As, you know, as you do. I mean, I suppose I, I could just leave this sinkhole here and then the next time a raid spawns on this side of the map, because I noticed that raids do seem to like spawning and like killing things, so that's a, f a thing we could use to our advantage, I guess. Eh, we'll see, I mean, we've, uh, we've got uh, Chetta here, we can... I'll chuck him down the hole. Also, does anyone else find it rather suspicious that the only Force users we have seen this entire game are all women? I mean, I think that's sexist. Where are all the male Jedi? Who knows? But, eh, women are more Force-sensitive, apparently, anyway. So, I guess, whatever that's supposed to mean. These guys like getting all sexist there at the end of the video. What will your viewers think? Anyway, yeah, so let's, uh, let's just ignore that and move on. And, uh, yeah, well, try to ignore it and move on as best we can. And, yeah, so that's going to do it for this episode. So until the next time, thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below to let me know what you're thinking. And I will see all of you in the next video.